and comes after our children to pray on them. And Sister Ann, a, em, Emily is teaching them the word of God, preaching to them. And there's the devil. They don't like you. You're not pretty. Oh yeah, your mom and dad are in church, but what are they doing for you? They give all their money to the church, and you guys have nothing. Your mom and dad are pastors. Oh, pastors are just bigger targets for me. Because they're lost in the ministry, and their children are so empty sometimes. And that is my greatest tool right there, to capture the souls of these young people. Don't listen to her. Don't listen to her. You look at me. I'm the one who's going to give you love. I'm the one who's going to fill you with love. Not her. No, no, no. It's me that's going to be here in the moment. You think God's going to use you? You think God's going to use you after everything that you've done? You think God can use you after everything that you're going to do? No, it's me that you'll run to. It's me that'll be there. It's me that'll be there. It's me that'll be there. It's me that's gonna keep you. It's me that's gonna take you. It's me that's gonna keep you. Not God. Not God. Then when he has them at this place, and this one is far from these children, then he's able to get her. And he's able to rip what God has given her. The purity that God has given her. He's able to take it away. And none of us are, are listening because we missed something from here to here. And this young girl who is hurting goes back home and nobody is following up on this young child and these children are just continuing to go along the way and this one is hurting still this one is getting pushed back by the devil by the devil by the devil further and further away from the call of god and we do nothing about it we stay right here in this circle and we just continue to preach just exist 